Well, a lot of things, a lot of times in politics, you can do everything right and still not get across the finish line. Um, there was a, you know, Obama, Obama won my seat by 13 points. Romney was only supposed to lose the district by, you know, six to seven points. And so, the national brand, so to speak, the national tidal wave, um, really. Uh, we came very close. We did a lot better than Mitt Romney in our district, um, but we fell short because of the kind of presidential election that uh, ended up happening in terms of the turnout. Well, I considered it when I talked to earlier uh, in 2013, uh, Buck McKeon reached out to me and he said that he was considering uh, not running for re-election. I grew up in the district. I grew up in Simi Valley, represent a large percentage of this district, uh, Santa Clarita and Simi Valley were kind of my base and my state senate seat, the two cities I did the best in, in terms of my senate district. Uh, and there was something uh, appealing about representing the community that you grew up in. Uh, as I talked to folks like the mayor, Simi Valley, and others, uh, they were very encouraging uh, that I would do this. I called a lot of supporters and asked them what they think. And they, were, they said, we just want your voice in Washington. We think you're going to be very effective. I'm very humbled to have the support of Buck McKeon. He's extremely popular in the district. Uh, I've had a good relationship with the chairman, um, and his support is going to be um, very big in my district because the one person that knows what it takes in terms of leadership in Congress uh, and that also represents this district in this community looks at all the candidates and says, I'm the best candidate to replace him. And I, I take that. Uh, it's a very humbling feeling to have the support of the chairman who's done so much for our community. Yeah, Kevin McCarthy and I were in Young Republicans 20 years ago. Uh, we were on opposite sides of the Young Republicans, but we both uh, had a, a very strong relationship. When he was in the State Assembly, he was my roommate, and uh, he's someone that uh, we work uh, well together. And, and uh, you know, so I have a, a strong relationship with Kevin. I'm endorsed by the, almost, the, almost the entire uh, California delegation, but I'm not a Washington uh, congressman. Uh, it's more important to have the mayor of Simi Valley. It's more important to have you know, people who are in your chamber of commerce, in your community, and, and business leaders within your community, and voters. And, and that's the endorsement I'm, I'm looking for, is those, those voters in my community that uh, I'm going to represent in Washington. There's nothing I can do. It's, it's a law of California, and these are, these are what the Californians uh, want our election process to be. And so my goal is to be the top vote getter in the first round. Um, I played basketball growing up as a kid. I played team sports, a lot of tournaments. I've been in a lot of tournaments. And I have learned a long time ago, you can't worry about the finals until you get through the semis. And so the first uh, vote is coming up in June uh, where everybody runs and the top two go to the general. I plan on being that top two. I'm hopeful that I'm the top vote getter. But the real key is in November uh, that I'm the top vote getter and I can represent uh, the district I grew up in in, in Washington.